Hello, my name is Alexey. I continue to publish video tutorials and reviews. If this video will be useful to you, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button under this video. In this way you will help other users to find necessary information and my channel will be run better. All links from the video can be found in the description below. In previous free video tutorials we create website on Joomla 4 from scratch. We used only free extensions. The result was business website which was uploaded to the hosting. In this video review we will talk about Joomla 5. Joomla 5 is a version of Joomla content management system which was released on October 17, 2023. It has a number of days to improve security, accessibility, speed and other areas. Most of the changes are code-related. The previously recorded video tutorials for Joomla 4 are almost completely relevant for the current version of Joomla 5. At least this is valid on November 3, 2023. Please note that upgrade from Joomla 3 to 4 is much longer, more complex and expensive process than upgrade from Joomla 4 to 5. Here are new system requirements for Joomla 5 hosting. Now the minimum PHP version is 8.1 and the MySQL minimum version is 8.0. Also, you can use another database, for example, MariahDB and PostgreSQL. Now, administrators can enable the dark mode of the admin panel. To enable the dark mode or the night mode of the Joomla 5 admin panel, enable the appropriate mode in settings of your browser or operate system. For example, let's see how we can do it in Firefox. Click Menu, go to Settings, and here we can see dark mode and now if we switch to admin panel we can see that our dark mode is enabled here too. Now let's see how we can switch the mode in the Opera browser. Let's go to settings here in basic we can see tem and we can select dark tem. After this, go to admin panel and we can see dark mode in our Joomla. We can switch back and here it is. The next browser is Edge. Here go to settings, appearance and select dark. As for Google Chrome, we need to switch our mode in Operate System settings. For example, this is Windows 11, go to Settings, here we can see Personalization, Colors and switch from Light to Dark. And now we can see our Night mode in Joomla Admin Panel. In Joomla 5, 7 plugins with type schema.org were added to implement the following types of micro markup – blog post, book, event, organization, person, recipes and job posting. In the setting of each plugin you can select the component that will affect by this plugin – currently available contacts and article components. There is also plugin system schema.org. Here it is. You can select base type, organization or person, you can add name, image, social media accounts and after this you can go to the settings, for example, in the article, go here, for example, this article and here we can see new tab, schema and on this tab you can specify specific data for this article. For example, you can select schema type and add necessary data. In my example, this is image, headline, description, author, data publish and data modification. Also, you can add additional fields with title and its value. Let's go to our site. Here we won't see anywhere our data. They are in the code. 
So we can test it, just copy the code, go here, insert it and test. As you can see, we have valid markup with some non-critical issues, but it's not very important and I think in future it will be fixed. In previous video tutorials we already work with articles, also we work with this editor. In Joomla 5 it was update and for example in image settings. Now we have new option, we can set the alignment, for example now it's left and now it's right. Just save it update and we can see our changes. In Joomla 5 we have new design of pop-up dialogues. For example, we can see this pop-up with new design. Also, there are some changes in Smart Search plugin. For example, let's find them. And now we can see that here we can activate or deactivate including archive content in search result. Also, we can deactivate some taxonomic index. For example, let's search something and here we can see our taxonomic data. For example, I want to disable type, so I will just uncheck it, save it, go to components, smart search, index, click index and now let's see what we've got, just search and now we won't see any type information. So that's how it works. In previous video tutorial we worked with menu items. I show you how to sort menu items in Joomla 5 we can sort menus. For example, let's move main menu in the top. Just grab it, move it, refresh the page and we can see that position changed. In previous video tutorial when we talk about user registration I show you how to enable capture for user form registration. But in Joomla 5 there is no more any capture plugin, so you need to use 30 party one. In Joomla 5 we've got new plugin it's called Behavior Backward Compatibility. If you use some outdata extensions, for example extensions from Joomla 4 with outdata code, you can enable this plugin and test these settings. Also with Joomla 5 we released Joomla 4.4. There are no special changes in Joomla 4.4. This version is needed to make it easier the upgrade from Joomla 4 to 5. It's assumed that all Joomla 4 extensions and templates that do not use legacy code will work with Joomla 5, even without behavior backward compatibility plugin. As you can see, quite a lot of changes have been made in Joomla 5. Most of them concern code and should increase speed, security, stability and compatibility of CMS with new software products. In turn, this allowed developers to create more modern extensions and templates. This can help you to create a better website in less time. In the article in my blog you can read about other changes, but the changes are difficult to show in video. Considering minimal changes in terms of admin interface and site management logic, all video tutorials and instruction previously recorded for Joomla 4 are relevant for Joomla 5. In the following video tutorials we will take a close look at various built-in Joomla extensions. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, this is Alexei, see you soon in new tutorials.